Yeah, you know, it's all boy it's you. It's that random content channel. And uh, well, I'll just put some random content on there. Me fucking trying to spit Eminem and Rise to 5-9 fast lane. Now, oh shit, I missed some of it. But you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm just showing Eminem. He's fucking unbelievable. And um, that easy meal kid that he's just brought. And that's a very good idea what he's done there. Because he's got somebody. I think he's telling us, you know, like, when I bow out, this is what you've got. I've brought you another rapper with that sort of quality. I wonder whether he'll bring an alter ego. Maybe, maybe there might be some sort of follow on from him. Maybe he might do that about this tangled up rapper who doesn't know whether he wants to stop or he didn't like the fame and wants it. I don't know. It could be a really good concept and all that. I think a lot of people would agree with that. But that Easy Mill's definitely got a. Um, it's got the got the what's needed to be the next M, you know what I mean? What else I was gonna look at as well? This I Spice in there. Now she's got that husky voice and all that and she has that Annie hair, dude, you know what I mean? It's weird, but yeah, you know that she's good an attractive girl and she's probably more attractive than most of the rappers out there at the minute. She seems to be more in it for fun than these like slightly shit selling all sex and aren't they? like a fucking porn star. But anyway, other people like Rap Daily have said that uh, the suspicious rise of Ice Spice. So uh, what we'll do, we'll put that on. Football, uh, listen to a bit of it. I'm just put a fucking head on there, you know what I mean, for somebody else who wouldn't be here, I don't think, you'll be seeing that. But, um, basically, fucking hell now, I'm about to fly here, Wilkins and so, yeah, you're getting some free fucking shit off me there, fuck off. Right, let's see. While her meteoric rise has definitely been nothing short of impressive, it has also raised a lot of eyebrows. From people right. accusing her of being an industry plant to others calling her music trash. An industry plant and a music trash. Let's just listen for a minute, right? Industry plant, yeah, could see that, definitely. But uh, music trash, no, no, not at all. She's got, um, she's got that husky wife, like I said. She's pretty, she's got some... Um, Got oh, some decent lyrics, her flow's nice. Um, she doesn't seem to be all in this, wanting to be there to fucking cause pure beef and just talk as dirty as she can about how much she wants her pussy fucking and licking and blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? She, but she does seem like somebody that could be stuck there, maybe like evil getting Drake and all that, that was an industry but the fucking Canadian Mafia put him there, no matter what you say, Risotto's fucking put him there or something, because he was wearing a wheelchair bound, kidding some fucking shit fall off, fucking American or Canadian soap thing, and then, now, he started from the bottom, how the fuck do you start from the bottom when you're already on telly and well known, but um, that's not starting from the bottom, and all of a sudden, you come out, you become so big, you be fucking huge, yeah. When your dance is known as being the uncle knobhead dance and fucking you admit that you've got ghostwriters, you're under little way and fucking um, you're trying get you're getting beef with a lot of people. Um that seems to me like an in that is an industry plan blatant. Whether he's Illuminati and all that shit, I don't know. Um Jay Z fucking go back to him probably one of the best to ever do it, but he, he's an industry plant. There's no fucking way yeah, the uh, reasonable doubt the album. No way did that come out as a fucking it just like a first album of that quality. Like Nas did with Ill Mike and that I mean look at Nas now he's nowhere to be seen. Jay Z's working out with that gay artist fucking hairstyle and all that. And getting pulled on it, yet still doing it. Very fucking odd. Very odd. Um, uh, she's having a dart dancing about Blue Ivy. Well, I fucking know. It's all weird. But anyway, back to Ice Spice, yeah. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit of a meteoric rise and all that. Maybe Nicki Minaj is doing what I said about Easy Bill, bringing in somebody fucking big to fill her boots when she's gone, but, oh, let's listen. Controversial. 
in this, we will explore her rise and the evidence that different sources have uncovered, showing that there's more than meets the eye in the rapper's instant rise. The rise of Ice Spice. This happened very fast for you. When did you... I mean, it seemed like over the last, what, 18 months? Is the blow up? ISIS Niger Black. Right. First of all, 18 months been a very quick blow up, is it? You know what I mean? 18 months for us to blow up. That's a year and a half, mate. Do you know what I mean? Some people have a career for could be a one hit one that would be massive for like six months and then disappear and we'd forgot about it there. But oh. Oh, alias Ice Spice, has taken over the rap industry from the blues. From making records with Nicki Minaj to Kanye West's daughter trying to impersonate her, the rapper already has a large influence in the hip-hop scene. However, such monumental success within a short period of time is bound to attract criticism, and Ice Spice has definitely... Can I just say, like, on the formats we're doing on this platform now, I do the random content, do anything, but I do cover crime as well, and Mr. Baldwin, strange, dark, mysterious and that... Never mentioned at the beginning it was a soldier and all that, but he never mentioned that he had a Nobel fucking uh, or a Pulitzer Prize winning sister. His other sister ran some massive um, ABC network or some shit like that. And the fact that he got 7 million subscribers now, nearly 8 million, right? And then Michael from that chapter, Big Up, right? Uh, the Irish guy with glasses. Listen, he's he's got like two million something maybe, do you know what I mean? And it took him like ten years to get that. It Bowen was getting that in two years, some shit like that. Now he is a good storyteller and that, but he messed us about so many times and all that. And he's definitely one then from a content farm. There's no fucking way. But um, he got to, he was just he couldn't have got that amount of subscribers so quick like that and for like say when Mark's Mike Mike has worked his ass off, by the way. Look at Mike's new video, a camping trip, took a chilling turn when he vanished. Like, it's, uh, yeah, it's a really, really, really good video. He only released it six hours ago, so it's that chapter, and it's Mike, or you can't Mike, oh, oh, he's like, oh, shit. Right, anyway, oh, shit, let's get back to where we was at. The end of a lot of backlash. While some claim that she is being pushed onto rap fans by music executives for profit, others claim that <laughs> other has played reason. a significant role in helping her shine. So who is Ice Spice? How did she blow up from nowhere? And why is there so much controversy surrounding her come up? I blew up really, I would say summer 2022. I put out my first one March 2021. And like, then I did yeah, like the like two and a half that years. had some momentum and stuff. And then, like, the munchilla just went crazy. Ice Spice was born on the 1st of January. She's called Isis. Her name is a fucking terrorist group. When the name is Right from her childhood, there were already rap influences around her. Her dad was an underground rapper, which meant that she was exposed to rap from a very young age. However, in an interview with Bill Boy, Ice Spice said her father's career did not influence her to become a rapper. While I was growing up, I wasn't like, my father's a rapper, so I'm going to be one too. She said, apart from that, her parents would play Well, people don't want to become drug addicts, but when we and daddy, yeah. her father's background as an underground rapper meant she constantly listened to the greats such as Jay-Z, 50 Cent, and Wu-Tang Clan. The rapper revealed that the hip hop industry was never on her mind. While on an interview on Hot 97, she revealed that she had her sights set on being an actress. Um, I didn't really like ever see myself being a rapper, like until I guess I got older. But I always wanted to be an actress. I like, put that's this what, that so that she wants to be an actress. Let's have a look for that. <sighs> The first day of Jots, it got boilers in the pretty big place, right? right. The girl was just all fucking well in it, and she is with the right people. It's probably got me with all the right people. And over 10 million YouTube views. However, this is the beginning of the controversy surrounding her. While the song became very popular, judging by the number of oh, good fucking hops in people, people. come on, man. Help but notice the like to dislike ratio. Hell, mind five. Look at the views on that. Yeah, he so never blew up. One fan said her flows are crazy. Really switches it up on every song. While another praised her for being talented, super creative putting out good vibes into the world. However, some comments with the most likes made fun of the song and had some pretty harsh words for Ice Spice. This ain't getting us out the hood, it's moving us across the street, one critic said. This goes oh, hard when... Yeah, I was a fucking change, but I was a fucking get out, out the hood. 
it was an observation that fans made concerning the music video. Ice Spice was not afraid to twerk throughout the video, something that would become a prominent feature. Oh, they said Megan is talking for the ball and everybody else. In early 2022, twerk girls do it like said she don't sell as much sex as the rest of them. So I think she's really getting fucking paid on to be honest with you. One thing is for sure, Ice Spice is not a one-hit wonder as she has gone on to make music with Nicki Minaj yeah. and even Taylor Swift. The marketing and branding surrounding Ice Spice can be described as a masterclass that fans couldn't help but notice. Mm -hmm. But before you know, looking at he, a break, like said, I fucking on here, dude. That's obviously something that's going to make you remember, do you know what I mean? Month, the remix of singer Pink Panther's so, song, Boys Alive. If the sound was quick to so say you've been shot and all that on the mark on his face and everything. Okay, now he was, he was the shit on him and he brought what his one only good album out. The song peaked at number four on the I mean, this girl, I don't really fucking really really know much about what this is. I mean, this is fucking more of a boy 87. We've seen a lot of her gaming stuff in the next few days and we'll start setting that platform up. But yeah, I think this girl is getting a lot of fucking flack and bullshit. I think this video from Rap Dale is clickbait because. Or at least that is what it was made to look like. However, EP oh. sales comparisons and sales aside, there have been other things that people have pointed out that oh, made Ice look like she was planted by the music industry instead of growing authentically. One of the most obvious was the quality of her work. It is interesting to note that when artists start to break out, a lot of their music is often low budget since they are. Yeah, it will look at uh, what we'll say is, yeah, like fucking Little Peep when Juice World and all that. But. Have you not noticed some of the things that Juice World apparently did and he'd not took off completely? But all his videos was um, very high quality anyway. And then, I mean, you talk about okay, industry plants and all that. And then you've got uh, Lyrical Lemonade. And then Eminem does a tune with Juice World after it comes out after he's passing, funnily enough. But um, it's done by Cole Bennett. They're calling me big up. I like his videos and all that, and he works with good people. But um, for Eminem to go there, superstar, all of a sudden to get a video done by him, I, I mean, that seems like a fucking meteoric rise, and that, and especially for somebody who's not been in the game. And he's been in the game a long time, he? but um, never really fucking got. It was just weird for Eminem to fucking go straight over there. Do you know what I mean? And. At the end of the day, it's been one of his fastest rhymes, a legendary rhyme and all that. That was an industry point, definitely. There you go. Remember, Drake had flown her and her team out to Toronto after Oh, they Drake the fucking out, the like I say. Everyone was certain. That was definitely an industry point. He didn't start from no However, bottom. There was trouble in paradise. As you start from nothing. That Drake had unfollowed Ice Spice oh, on Instagram. Oh, that way. Anyway, the end this of the day. important, as it will explain how Ice Spice got her feature with Nicki Minaj. It may be that the collaboration with the legendary female rapper was not because she is talented, but because she is connected. Nicki Minaj is a legendary Nicki female rapper, rapper so Nicki she's... The first artist who can collaborate. She's like really the only relevant one. This she's with Lil Wayne, probably one of the most talented rappers in the world. Do you know what I mean? Definitely. Well, what's that? Absolutely. Top five. Well, like, it's just who I was watching there. She's joining without fucking grass to catch you six nine. I don't know. But fucking at the end of the day. Yeah, she's going to be in the top five. Yeah, she's going to be in the top five. Yeah, she's going to be in the top five. Yeah, she's going to be in the top five. Yeah, she's going to be in the top five. Yeah, she's going to be in the top five. Yeah, she's going to be in the top five. Yeah, she's going to be in the top five. Yeah, she's going to be in the top five. Yeah, she's going to be in the top five. Yeah, she's going to be in the top five. Yeah, she's going to be in the top five. Yeah, she's going to be in the top five. Yeah, she's to constantly keep on piece of shit. Although DJ Academics so, did not reveal this directly, he revealed in an interview that 10 K Project had hired him for a And I'm not pretty sure it's a cash six nine and all that. Now, that was an industry band. Look how quick that motherfucker come up with this whole story about the fucking grassing and all that midnight motherfucker. That he's at the end of the day, he's, he's back in fucking, he's back in the rap game and all that. And nobody's done him it. And then all these fucking stupid things about him getting that little beating and all that. A lot of shit to be honest with you. But anyway, about that ice spice here, yeah, fucking. I mean, come oh, on, man. The fuck? A lot of shit, they fucking. People want something to talk about. Let's have a look at some of these comments, man. It's definitely suspicious, especially when you have pure lyricist MCs that's been there since 2007. Whoa, they've been there since 2007. Hey, Jesus, fucking hell. You know what rappers have been there since the fucking. 
late eighties, early nineties, you might come making great albums and still not getting the recognition they deserve or accolades. He says a lot. It's because of fucking like ever says he has got Gen Z and all that. You're not fucking watching really. You don't know shit here. Dre nine five three. There's nothing surprising about a new film art, female artist using a sex appeal game in a lot of hate online because a lot of people, primarily men, feel it's an unfair cheat code. Ooh, yeah, it's not unfair, is it, fucking? It's a guy that's going to flaunt it, but fuck at the end of the day, I think she's a good rapper. She didn't, like I said, little people that they done all that where they was doing all this, the, the, um, the SoundCloud stuff and all that, and they really should have got places, you know what I mean? But you know about the rap game and that as well, you know, you've got to sell your soul in it. So, at the end of the day, she very, very much might have done, you know what I mean? I don't know whether, I think Nicki Minaj may have done all that. I'm pretty sure Little Wayne does and, and hasn't, and like Eminem and that, because look on the recluses, the fucking both recluses. That's because they won't, they won't do what's asked of them, do you know what I mean? Um, not all right, fucking, it's weird, man. Uh, but yeah, listen, uh, industry plan, she's not, she's fucking somebody that may very well, may, you know, just had a lot of PR behind her, good fucking, a lot of, lot of good uh, people around her who got, got her what she needed, good manager basically, and she's fucking, at the end of the day, she's got some appeal to put across, she knows the right people, her manager knows the right people, she's got the right deals, it's called fucking good just work all around, you know what I mean? Good on your eyes, spice. Listen, you know what? Fuck all the haters. At the end of the day, people like you, you haters, you actually fucking make people fucking more famous. So there you go. That's why she's so famous, because people like you are hating. Fuck you. But you know what? You're allowed your opinion, I'm only joking. Big up to Ram Daly for doing that rather shit video. But um, listen, at the end of the day, I'm just starting, I just want people to like my shit, so at the end of the day, but that's my true opinion, she, nah, she knew the strip like it's fucking, like I said, Jay was, we can talk more about that if you want to ask me and we'll do it, and that's all boy 82, that random content show, take care, bye bye.